Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. You know, I want to tell us we have a new position. Yes, I think that's what it is, a new position. You see, we pray and we believe from a position of victory, not toward victory, okay? And that's two different things. Sometimes I feel like we're moving toward victory. But I'm what I'm saying to you today is you are moving and praying and talking from a place of victory. You see, um, God didn't really think he had victory when he hung on the cross either, did he? But he did. His victory reached way beyond him, way beyond what he could see, what he could think, what he could possibly imagine. That victory is still going on today, and it's in you. Yes, you pray, you believe from a place of victory, not going toward victory. You see, sometimes the thing about our victory is that we get tired of believing. We get tired, we get discouraged, we get disappointed, uh, we get so depressed about things because nothing seems to be happening. We've been dealing with whatever we're dealing with for weeks, for months, some of us for years. And so we get in that place of discouragement. And every time we fall into discouragement, to disappointment, to depression, we lose our faith and we say, well, I've been fooling with it so long, maybe I shouldn't just do it. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm not supposed to have it. Maybe I'm not supposed to get this victory. And I want you to stop right there and remember, that's not what God says. That is not what God says and that is from the devil. That is a side of us that we're going to feel depression. Our challenge is to stay out of that depression, stay out of that, and replace the discouragement with the Word of God so you can keep on going so that victory is way beyond you. You may not be feeling like you're in good health now. You may not be feeling your finances are good. You might be feeling your family's falling apart. But through it all, back, keep on going. You can see over that into your victory. God did, and He left us the same spirit that's in him so we could jump right over into victory. So, you know, sometimes I'm going to tell you, just jump like a frog. Just leap like a frog. Jump over what you're doing into victory. Remember, you're praying, you're working, you're living from a place of victory. Now, there's three things I want you to do when you're going through struggles and you're, it's just a long-term struggle. <clears throat> and I want you to do three things. I want you to take your scripture that you have, say it's for healing, and write it down on a piece of paper. Maybe just one or two that you have, and memorize it, and say it all the time. When you're in the car, when you're driving, when you're in the doctor's office, keep it in your purse, keep it in your pocket, keep it all the time. And you pray it all the time. The second thing is you speak it all the time. Speak it out loud. Speak it out loud. You when you're in the car, when you're um, in the bathroom, when you're alone, um, when you're walking down the street, rehearse those scriptures over and over again in your mind. And the third thing is believe what you say. If you do these three things on a constant basis, you can stay out of depression, stay out of the attacks of the devil, because you're going to keep going. Remember, it is normal for us to feel these things. It's one side of us that is always around us, the, the side that wants to go to depression, um, uh, not understanding, the side of us that goes to anxiety and worry. But you see, that's not the only side of you. And I think I'm going to say that over and over again. That's not the only side of us. We've got a better side, a victorious side, a side that God is with us to pull us up, increase us, and carry us over the mud pole the mud spot, the suey hoe. So I don't want to see any of us go in that suey hoe. I've been there and it's not fun. So lift yourself up and remember, speak it, say it, and believe it. You are working from a place of victory. God's already paid the price. Amen and amen. I want you to go out and make it a Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, y'all. I'll be saying that a lot. This is a great season. And go back and get the joy that you left at the doorstep. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.